In this video, we're going to begin our discussion of how can you effectively find a median element in an array. We'll begin this by talking about probably the way that you would most likely do this when you first learn about what the median is in statistics, which the sort of naive approach is to first sort the array, sort the array, and then access a at n over 2. That seems like a very reasonable thing to do. The unfortunate thing is that even the best sorting algorithms we want, we have looked at, were on the order of n log n. And that is really not good for this runtime because that is going to defeat the purpose of trying to find the median like we did in our first implementation of quicksort, because I said we could do that in linear time. Here, instead, we're actually going to solve a harder problem that will turn out to make this conceptually easier. So we're going to introduce the idea of an order statistic, kth order statistic. of a an array is the kth smallest element so the first order statistic statistic is the minimum element the n over second rounded down order statistic is the median and the nth order statistic would be the maximum With this idea, we're actually going to try and utilize a method we talked about before, which is the partition method, because what the partition method does is it can partition the array and help you sort of approximate something similar to binary search. So our algorithm idea here is to step one, partition the array around a random element. And then what we're trying to do is we're going to find out where does that random element lie in the array. We have the set of numbers. Let's say we partition it around six. So I'm going to color six differently. We're going to partition around that. I'm just going to write a valid partition. So two and one and four and three are less than six and eight and nine are greater than six. So six would end up here. Let's suppose we're looking for the second order statistic. So suppose we want the second order statistic. The nice thing that we know now is that this element six is in the correct position. It is in position five in sorted order, which means that all of the things on the right hand side, their correct position in sorted order, or their order statistic, have to be 6 or 7. And all of the things on the left must be 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 5. So let us try and partition again, and we're only going to partition the left half. So then we partition 1 of the sides. And we know which side that will be based on the location of the element we partitioned around. So let's suppose that our next partition point was 1. That's what we chose randomly. If we did that, I'm going to stop drawing any of this stuff over here because it has nothing to do with where I care about searching. So if I look at element 
one and I partition around it, I would partition one and then two, four, and three are all greater than that. So I know that one must go there and that these elements over here between two and four in the indices, that it must fall in that area. So let's say now we partitioned around two. If we do that, we would have a partition of two, four, three, and two is our pivot. And two's position in sorted order is position two. Therefore, the element two of that original array was the second order statistic. So the second order statistic is two. And the fact that it was two in the second order is just pure coincidence by the numbers I happen to choose for this problem. This turns out to be an easier problem because partition is a well understood method and we are roughly trying to get some of the efficiency we had with binary search. It's not a perfect analogy, but that's the idea we're having. We want to split the array, hopefully roughly in half, then search the correct half of the array for the remaining elements.